that is essential to where we want to go with this today, is how we connect the myth and the history with the science of the ignition of blood and the physics of bliss and kundalini. And so maybe we start there a little bit on the biology that uh, the amygdala of the brain is where the mouth of the snake brain feeds the juices of bliss into the bird brain. Now, classically, the snake brain, the reptilian brainstem, is thought of as a bit more female, and the bird brain is thought of as a bit more male, although that, that's perhaps superficial. But the point is that the biomechanics of Kundalini, which uh, you know, we just made a film with Ari, goldenmean.info slash Kundalini, and as you remember from that film, quite clearly, the low-frequency spine liquid pump, sacrocranial, is literally pumping up the sanchidan, the snake venom, as it were, or the, 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 the power of the tailbone, which is actually in, includes the sexual juices. And when they arrive at the bird brain, the Quetzalcoatl has, the, the serpent has fed the eagle and Quetzalcoatl returns. What that means is the reptilian brain stem delivered the raw material, blisses of ju juices, blisses of juice, no, juices of bliss, <laughs> to the bird brain, and the ventricle horns literally crystallize. You might get a little horny. And actually, that's where, remember, Lucifer had horns and Moses has horns. And that wasn't because they were the devil. It's because their kundalini and bliss was ignited, and those horns are literally their plasma wings indicating their plasma cocoon could take wing, as in Coulomb, Columbus, you know, the, the Coulomb is the myth of the plasma took wing. We'll get to that when we talk about the grail across the Atlantic. So, the igniting of the bird brain happens through the mouth of the snake brain named amygdala. One of the important roots of the term Tour Migdal, the Tower Magda, which Remember, Saunier at Rennes-le-Chateau in South France traveled to Girona to study how the, um, the esoteric sect of the Jews had built, the Kabbalists, had built the Tour Migdal at Girona and made a model of that, which became the famous Tower Migdal at Rennes-le-Chateau, center of the Grail Mysteries, apparently to look out over the valley at Rennes-le-Chateau, where many here, right in South France, firmly believed Magda is buried. 